Not long after 50 Republican senators plus the tiebreaker vote uh, by Mike Pence opened up the Obamacare replacement plan for debate, that was a vote yesterday, that same Senate also took a vote uh, that, and they voted down a version of Trump Care. Uh, that's Trump Care 3.0. Now, according to the Hill, senators voted 50, uh, 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 43 to 57 on a procedural hurdle for the measure that included the GOP's repeal and replace bill, the Better Care Reconciliation Act, as well as proposals from Senator Ted Cruz and Rob Portman. Now, um, what's notable are the people who decided not to vote for this. Uh, and that included Senator Suzanne Collins. Well, we kind of figured she was a no. Bob Corker. Tom Cotton. Tom Cotton. He voted against this. Lindsey Graham. Dean Heller. Of course, Mike Lee. Jerry Moran. Elisa Murkowski. Rand Paul. Uh, they all voted against uh, that repeal and replace proposal uh, on the procedural hurdle. And, of course, no Democrats voted for it, which is obvious. So, now, do you, did you notice anybody missing? Oh, right. John McCain. Well, John McCain was there. He rushed all the way uh, from, you know, getting his uh, surgery done uh, from the hospital to go and vote. Right. And yes, he voted to advance the debate, but he also voted for this. Now, didn't he make this gigantic speech yesterday uh, going after the media and trying to get bipartisan approval and saying this bill was just uh, terrible? He wasn't going to vote for it. Actually, you know what? I, I'm going to show you that uh, real quick. Our health care insurance system is a mess. We all know it. Those who support Obamacare and those who oppose it. Something has to be done. We Republicans have looked for a way to end it and replace it with something else without paying a terrible political price. We haven't found it yet, and I'm not sure we will. All we've managed to do is make more popular a policy it wasn't very popular when we started trying to get rid of it. I voted for the motion to proceed to allow debate to continue and amendments to be offered. I will not vote for this bill as it is today. It's a shell of a bill right now. We all know that. I have changes urged by my state's governor that will have to be included to earn my support for final passage of any bill. I know many of you will have to see the bill change substantially for you to support it. We've tried to do this by coming up with a proposal behind closed doors in consultation with the administration, then springing it on skeptical members, trying to convince them that it's better than nothing. That it's better than nothing? Asking us to swallow our doubts and force it past a unified opposition. I don't think that's going to work in the end and probably shouldn't. Hey, man, he says, oh, what a shell. This is a shell of a bill. I can't vote for this. That's why I voted not only for it to proceed, but then I proceeded to vote in favor of it. No, dude, you don't get to do that. Okay. Look, John McCain, if anything, he's proven that he is a loyal Republican. He shouldn't get a pass on this because he has cancer. Now, it doesn't mean I want him to die. Like, I've seen some really horrible things from people like, oh, John McCain should die. No, 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 dude, no. All right, we're, we're better than that. See, we actually want people with cancer, everyone with cancer, to be able to have as good as health care as John McCain, even if John McCain d doesn't believe that. Now, all I want is for him to not vote for a bill that would take cancer treatment away from millions of people, 22 million people, uh, under the most recent version that we know of, scored by the CBO. And of course, this wasn't which is one of the reasons that it didn't pass uh, because these amendments were not scored by the CBO. Um, but uh, 22 million people regardless, okay? And for those with cancer, losing your insurance is a death sentence. So here I am. I, I got to call out John McCain for his hypocrisy on the issue, okay? Now, again, I mentioned that there were some amendments and that was one of the reasons that uh, this didn't pass because it wasn't CBO uh, scored. Now, one of those amendments was from Ted Cruz. <laughs> now, his amendment would allow insurance companies to sell plans that didn't meet the requirements of Obamacare. We've actually talked about that uh, before. Basically, it would allow insurance companies to go back to selling junk plans to people that didn't actually cover anything. But what's the point of having insurance if it doesn't do anything? You're essentially just 
shelling out money to a insurance company for no reason. Well, I got better ways to use that money. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you do. Uh, but, you know, again, that's his amendment. That's what he wanted to do. Now, Portman's uh, amendment would aim to lower insurance costs for individuals in Medicaid expansion states, but could also apply to other low-income Americans. Now, that provision uh, would add $100 billion to the state stability fund to help people who might lose coverage they got under Medicaid expansion. Those funds could help cover out-of-pocket costs like deductions and co-pays. Now, Portman said... He worked with the president, vice president, and administrative officials to improve the bill in order to help out people who are low income. Okay, man. Sure. Um, but that's not going to replace Medicaid. Now, of course, it's better than Cruz's amendment because at least you kind of give a crap about people. Uh, but look, that's not enough. That's not enough for health care. Okay. We should not be cutting Medicaid. We should be expanding Medicaid. We, shouldn't, we should be expanding Medicare to everybody. The American people do not want this bill. Now, people like McCain, they're out there making grandiose speeches like, oh, why can't we work together? Why aren't we working with, well, why won't the Democrats come over and help us destroy Obamacare and do this ridiculous replacement that nobody wants? Now, I mean, the American people don't want to get rid of Obamacare. They actually do want to fix it and they actually also want to expand it. Okay. Well, look, the ACA uh, I'm going to tell you a couple of polls. Uh, the ACA is actually more popular than it's ever been. According to one poll, it's at 55% approval. Trump care is at 16%. And of course, Medicare for all is at 57%. So tell me, why in the hell should Democrats work with the Republicans to repeal the ACA when the ACA is vastly more popular than this uh, abortion of a bill that the Republicans keep coming back with. Why? Why? And, and look, if anything, I think the Democrats, and some have, should go out and embrace single payer. And they should say, hey, Republicans, I got an idea for you. Why don't you come to our side and pass Medicare for all? It does everything that Donald Trump said he wanted in a healthcare plan it covers everybody and it's cheaper that's pretty much everything that Donald Trump lowers there are no premiums okay it comes out of your taxes no deductibles cheaper covers everybody nobody's uh you know going to not have insurance why don't you come work with us on that no we're not going to come over and come over to your side your side it's not where the American people are. The American people are firmly on our side. You need to come to us. You need to come to us and do Medicare for all. But instead of doing that, our Democrats, kind of weak. Um, at least a lot of them are. There are some very strong progressives uh, that are doing great work, uh, trying to push for Medicare for all. Uh, and of course, at least that's on the, that discussion seems to be on the table uh, if you believe Chuck Schumer. Uh, but nonetheless, they're still not inviting the Republicans to come over and saying, hey, man, you need to work with us. We're not working with you. You got to work with us because uh, we actually have the majority and you don't. But at the point that we're at, uh, Republicans have a bill that still might become law. Now, it, it could happen. It's it's not likely. It's not very likely, but it's still possible. Okay, and while this version was an epic failure, that doesn't mean that they're not going to try to push through another version. Um, if they could go through a procedural vote and get this to debate, that is one step closer to actually having this pass. So, you know, it, 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 this could be a law. This could pass through. And Donald Trump would definitely sign it. He'll sign pretty much anything you put on his desk. Um, so we still have a lot of reason to be worried about uh, this health care bill. So, you know, what everybody's doing, and, you know, going out there and, and protesting and making sure their voice heard, keep doing that, keep them on notice. Um, and it's possible that we might just avoid Trump care. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. 
And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.